Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am really excited to be trying a new recipe that I found on Pinterest and that is for copycat Chick-fil-A nuggets. Now I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love Chick-fil-A. I love their nuggets. So when I saw this recipe, I knew I had to try it. I had never actually had Chick-fil-A before moving here to Virginia because we didn't have them back in Washington State. I think they have them now, uh, but we didn't have them when I lived there and so I quickly became a huge fan of Chick-fil-A after moving here to Virginia. So again, I definitely wanted to try these. Um, I will link the website down below where I'm getting this recipe from so you guys can check it out yourselves. But let me jump in here and show you what you're gonna need to make this. Now I should say first off that I'm gonna be doubling the recipe because she has just 10 ounces of chicken that she's doing and that's not gonna be enough for us so I'm gonna double it. And also I did wanna point out that she has her serving size of seven nuggets and it makes 20 and I'm not gonna be doing that either because seven does not divide into 20. So I'm not really sure why she used seven as a serving size, but I'm going to just go with 10 as a serving size. So that's gonna make my points per serving obviously higher than hers because it's gonna be more nuggets per serving. But just wanted to point those two things out because those are gonna be different obviously than what she has on her website. I have got just about 20 ounces of chicken. There is a little bit under I still factored in 20 in the recipe builder because that was as close to 20 as I could get. Then you're going to need a cup of almond milk, unsweetened. Then you're going to need a cup of dill pickle juice, two third cup flour, two eggs, two teaspoons powdered sugar. Now the recipe that I'm following used a powdered sugar substitute. And you can absolutely do that, but I did find when I put it in the recipe builder, it didn't change the points any to just use the regular powdered sugar. Here is a quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs. You're also gonna need a little bit of paprika. I've got granulated garlic. The recipe calls for garlic powder, I believe, but close enough. And then finally, you're gonna need a little salt and pepper. Also, I'm gonna be making the sauce that she has along with the nuggets. And for that, I'm gonna be using some of this Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce, some Duke's light mayo, and because I cannot find the Jehu's sugar-free honey mustard, I'm gonna be using this. Now I did factor this in, which is just regular honey mustard, and it didn't end up making the points any higher on the sauce, but I would still like to find that Jehu's sugar-free honey mustard at some point. But anyway, that is it. Let me jump in here and show you how these are gonna go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm going to cut each one of these into 20 pieces, which is somewhat tricky because it's obviously not uniform in size. So I'm gonna do the best I can I'm just gonna cut this down the middle and then cut each side into about 10 pieces. So I'll do that and then I will be back to show you the next step. Okay, I've got those cut up the best I could. The recipe said one inch pieces. And again, I just tried to get them as even as I could. They're obviously not all gonna be the same size, but I did the best I could. So now I'm gonna add a little pepper to them and a little salt. And then I'm gonna set those aside. Give myself a good sized bowl here. And I'm gonna add in my pickle juice and my cup of almond milk. Give that a stir. And now I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna add it in here. I'm gonna kinda toss that in there like that. Then I'm gonna cover with plastic wrap. 
and I'm gonna let this marinate in the fridge. It says for 30 minutes to six hours. It'll probably be a couple hours that I'm gonna let this marinate and then I will be back. I'm gonna go ahead and make my sauce now too since it says I think to refrigerate for 30 minutes before using. So that's gonna just be a quarter cup of light mayo. Again, I'm using the Dukes because that is my favorite. Tablespoon of this no sugar added sweet baby rice. And a tablespoon of the honey mustard. I'm also going to use just a tiny little splash of this um, juice, the pickle juice, just so probably like not even half a teaspoon, probably a quarter teaspoon, just because I think that sounds good. And that's the same dill pickle juice that I put in the um, marinade. So now I'm just going to stir this up real well. And then once I get it all nice and stirred up, I'm going to stick it in the fridge and let it um, sit until the chicken nuggets are done. I let this marinate for a little over an hour, which is probably not as long as I should. I would guess probably the longer you let it marinate, the better, but I'm getting impatient. So now what I'm gonna do is drain all the liquid off of this. So I've got that drained and I'm gonna just set that aside and work on the rest of this. So you're gonna take all your dry ingredients and it says put it in a shallow dish. This is about the best thing I have to work with. So I'm gonna add my flour in there, breadcrumbs, powdered sugar, quarter teaspoon garlic, and half teaspoon paprika. And I'm gonna just mix all these together real well. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the lid on this. It's just snapware. And I'm gonna shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh. Okay, now, set that aside. Get a, another bowl, add my eggs. And two teaspoons of the almond milk. And then I'm gonna whisk that together real well. Now I'm gonna take my chicken and I'm gonna add that into the egg mixture. And stir that around in there to get that nice and coated. And now at this point, actually, I'm gonna get my air fryer preheating at 400. You can also bake these if you don't have an air fryer, if you're baking, you wanna preheat your oven to 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my air fryer preheating real quick. I've got my air fryer preheated, so now I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of olive oil, and I'm just using this olive oil spritzer that came with the air fryer. It says you can also put down a little parchment paper just so that these don't stick but hopefully the olive oil is gonna work. So I've got that sprayed and ready to go. So now I'm gonna take my chicken here and I'm going to drop it into this breading mixture and just get each one of these pieces nice and coated. And then I'm gonna drop them into the air fryer and I'm probably just gonna do half of this at a time since I am doubling this recipe. That's about half. So I'm gonna just get all these coated. Like I said, just kind of place them in the air fryer. Okay, that's roughly half of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and start these cooking. And it says 10 to 12 minutes and that you wanna do a flip halfway through that. So I'm gonna set mine to 10 minutes and then in about five minutes, I'm gonna flip them 
and see where we're at. My air fryer, I think, tends to cook a little faster than some others, so that's why I'm doing 10, but if they don't look done, we'll go an extra two minutes, but I will be back once these are done. Okay, this is how we're looking, and they are definitely done, maybe a little overdone, to be honest, um, and these sticked, or they stuck pretty bad, I should say, when I went to flip them. They were stuck pretty bad, so I would definitely recommend using a parchment paper insert to do these. But I'm going to pull these out, put them on a plate, and do up my second batch here. And I also wanted to point out that these ones here, I don't think I breaded as heavily as I should have. I was concerned about running out of the breading, uh, but I still have a ton of breading left in here, even though I've got all the remaining pieces breaded. So definitely bread them a little better than I did this batch um, because there is there's definitely enough breading mixture there but I'm gonna take these out put these in and then I'll be back once I've got them all done and we'll do a taste test on them and here I have got them all done I've got the dip out for them there too and mine definitely not or not as uh, pretty as the recipe or the pictures of the recipe that I followed but that's how Pinterest is a lot of times anyway um, but yeah they smell really good I mean I still think they're gonna taste good they're just not quite as pretty as hers were and again I've got these in the recipe builder at 10 nuggets for seven points probably a more accurate way to figure points on these would be to go by ounces since I've got roughly 20 ounces here probably be more accurate to do um, five ounces just weigh these out and do five ounces for seven points but however you want to do it a quarter of these would be seven points also the sauce I don't know if I said already but that is for a tablespoon it's gonna be a point so I have my hubby try these they're really hot no, they shouldn't be super hot. They've been cooling for a couple minutes. They smell good. They do smell good. As do most things that are cooked in the air fryer, though. Now, to me, I cooked those two minutes less than um, the... Well, not two minutes less. It said from 10 to 12 minutes. I still think they might be a little overcooked. So I did 10. I think I could have done less. What do you think? Chicken's one of those things, though. You don't want to undercook, so yeah. I, I always. I mean, it's definitely done. Yeah. Um, I think it'd have been okay with eight. Okay. The sauce is really good. Is the sauce good? Yeah. Okay. So maybe a little less time, but as I said, our air fryer, this guy right here, it tends to, or at least it seems to cook faster than most uh, recipes I followed so I would bump that down to eight between eight and 12 minutes like you said yeah those are really good now they're calling these copycat chick-fil-a which no. we know <laughs> I was gonna no. say I was gonna say um, there's probably no way they actually taste like chick-fil-a but it was intriguing yeah I and mean there it's if you just do it as air fryer nuggets. Yeah. Um, I mean, those are totally worth doing. Yeah. But we're not gonna fool anybody that this is Chick-fil-A. No. Okay, I didn't think so. Most of the time, or a lot of the time, those copycat recipes do not actually taste like the co copycat, but sometimes they do. Um, okay. But yeah. Those need to go away. They're good though, obviously, because you're eating them. So something you would want in the future? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, that is copycat Chick-fil-A nuggets, which apparently are not a dupe for Chick-fil-A nuggets, but they're still pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we will see you on the next one.